Well, hi, this is Chase, and I'm going to show you how, um, well, actually, there's a search that a lot of people do, and um, they ask, what is Google Docs, and how does it work? So what I'm going to do is show you uh, what Google Docs is and how it works. So um, they've also changed the name, and you may have a, the nine dots uh, for all your Google apps right on your Google page. And they changed the name to Google Drive, which it, it's still uh, the same uh, service. It's just a different name. And I'm going to show you how to use this. Um, it's really easy. You can have all these folders, and you can have lots of different files, both uh, documents uh, videos, uh, presentations, um, basically anything that you use Microsoft Word or um, Microsoft Office or even uh, Keynote and Pages on the Mac side. You can store everything on the uh, internet on Google Drive and you get I think like 15 gigabytes free. It's quite a lot of space. So I'm going to create a new folder uh, and really all you need to do is again just go to Google. If you have a Gmail account already you can sign into Google Drive. So if you have Gmail or if you have YouTube or uh, you know anything else Google related you can come into and access Google Drive which is now the new name for Google Docs um, and so mine is reloading I'm gonna go to a new folder I'm gonna create a new folder where I can store lots of documents in that folder and then share them with other people around the uh, internet okay so I'm gonna paste in what is Google Docs and how does it work I'm gonna create a folder okay so here it is. So let's go into that folder. So this is the folder, and then you can add new documents. So let's create a new, uh, here's a document. You can also do a spreadsheet, or you can do a slideshow, like a presentation, um, like uh, PowerPoint. Google Sheets is also very much like Excel, and Google Documents, or Google Docs, is very much like Microsoft Word. Okay, uh, so let's just go in and create a new Google document. And uh, you can just type whatever you need. So um, let me see if I can turn on my voice control. It may not go through, and it's not. I was, oh, hang on. Yeah, there, it did turn on. So um, I'll just type, you know, some things that I say. It doesn't really matter what I say, but I'm pointing out that you can type a document and it will uh, be saved on the cloud. Okay. So uh, obviously this is obviously the beginning of a document. And you would uh, type whatever you needed. You can also upload a document right into your Google Drive. Okay. So I think I'll turn off this uh, dictation. I'm using a Mac. Okay, so now I have uh, this um, document, and obviously there's some spelling errors and things like that. So um, you'd want to fix those, so it's nice. But you notice that the menu is very much like Microsoft Word or Apple Keynote. There are a lot of things you can do. You can insert images, links, and drawings, and it has a lot of power. You can do bold and underline and all that great stuff. Um, you can check for spelling and things like that. Plus, oh, look at that voice typing, by the way. That's cool. Uh, like I was doing on my Mac. And you can insert a table. There's so much you can do. Now, right now, I'm going to save this document. And actually, it's already been saved. Right up at the top. I can't seem to highlight it. But every change you make is automatically saved in Drive. So there's no losing a file. But uh, you may want to, uh, you know, go to the document and name it. Okay, so... What it's pulling in is the first line, which is not what I want. I'm just going to paste in what is Google Docs and how does it work. And that will be the name of the document. And I can just click out in the gray. And now that is the name of the file. And then this is the content, which is the document. Uh, the words and the letters and the phrases and the paragraphs and all that. Okay. So if I want to go back, I can click the blue icon to Google Docs Home brings me back and um, I guess this gives you um, other templates I wasn't aware of this but this is obviously very cool uh, let's go back to kinda of got lost here let's go to docs let's just try that 
it's going back so let's just reset ourselves so let's just go back to the drive and this is all my documents and then the um, folder that I made is what is Google Documents down here so here is that document that I made and um, so it's in this drive it's in the folder and then the name of the fold the file is this what is Google Docs and how does it work I can double click it and then there is my document I can actually go to the previous tab uh, so it opened up in tabs now I see that and so um, then you can create like a spreadsheet okay and a spreadsheet looks just like Excel so you have columns you can do um, insert I believe is under insert is uh, formulas which is functions you can do the sum of things so if you have a number here 103 and we have 45 6 um, you can go to and insert a uh, function which is a like the sum and that should and what you can do is tell it to do cell 1 and 2 and then I'll hit enter so that's 559 and that is correct so that's pretty cool again you can go right up to the type to the title and right now it's untitled and you could paste in I'll just give it the same name what is Google Docs and how does it work and then I'll just click outside in this gray area and now that's saved now if I go back to my Google tab um, my Google Drive tab this is a previous tab I now have a spreadsheet and I have a document and I guess we could do one more thing which is a presentation they call it Google Slides Google Slides is very cool you get basically like PowerPoint or Keynote on a Mac you have ways to type and add a title you also have different formats and different templates to use uh, let's just try something for fun and uh, you know you could put my presentation I'll just put my name here okay and then you can just do a new slide by clicking the plus button and you can do um, this is probably in that same template uh, but you could click a title and type there add text you can also add images so let's insert an image and there's lots of different ways you can take a snapshot by the URL of the image the URL meaning it's on the website somewhere you can pull in your images from albums that you may have uploaded things that are on Google Drive or you can search let me see if I can just drop in a quick image yeah let's use that one and it's a picture of me so let's drop it in there it's uploading boom so now on my Google uh, presentation I can rearrange that if I want to move it I just drag it uh, by clicking on it and dragging it around and then I can add text and let's just title that one the same what is Google Docs and how does it work I'll click in the gray area and now it's saved that you'll notice right at the top all changes saved in Drive let's go back to the previous tab and you can see now I have three different documents a spreadsheet a, a presentation and a document all of them are named the same which is maybe a little silly but you can just double click on them and you're right back to where you were it'll take just a moment to load uh, but you're right back to where you were when you left and the greatest thing is you can also add um, you can allow other people I'm going to close down some of these other tabs uh, you can allow other t people to uh, view these documents and or edit them now I'm going to choose the spreadsheet and if you want to add another person you can share it uh, and so you can click on that it'll ask for the name of their email and or their email address so if they're already on Google maybe they have a Gmail and maybe they're associated with your contacts you can just put in their name or you just put in their email address and then you can choose whether they can edit it or they can just view it or if they can comment on the document and make changes and all that um, so if you want to keep it safe and just not have anybody uh, edit it you can just put can view and then if you want you can get a shareable link which is kind of a long link ok 
Okay, so it's a long link, and that's what you would share and email them. But if you want to, you can just um, have Google email them, and you can put in their email address right at the bottom there. And then when you click Done, it'll email them a link to that document right there. Okay, so you can share the collaboration. You can collaborate with other people um, on these documents, and each document can be shared with different people. Uh, if you want to do the whole folder, um, you could just go to share, and then uh, you know, may what I maybe what I'll do is just allow you, because <laughs> I don't it doesn't matter to me what happens to this folder, but if I share the entire folder, you're going to have access to all of those. I'll get a shareable link and uh, I'll copy that, and I'll click done. You know what I'll do is just post that right in this um, document here. Okay, I'm going to go down to the bottom and click there. I'm going to add a return and then I'll just say, if you want to share uh, this folder, uh, I'll use this link. Okay, and I'll paste that in. And if I go to the next line, it'll make that a URL, it'll be a hyperlink. Boom. So that's a clickable link. You can actually click on it. Now watch when I click on this. This will open up in a new tab. And it will show me all those three documents again. So that's really cool. So um, I think the rest of this is just kind of experimenting with what you already know. Maybe about using Excel. Or maybe what you already know with uh, PowerPoint. Or maybe what you already know with uh, let's say like Microsoft Word those are the three different types you can also upload uh, files so if you want a file upload from your hard drive on your computer you can upload you can also upload an entire folder from your computer up to Google Drive uh, Google Docs and then there are some more things that I won't go into but there's things like forms and drawings Google Maps and I've been, I don't know about this, but it looks like it'll extract uh, a zip file. And so that's pretty darn cool. All of this is free if you have a Gmail or Google account. And um, so I'd give it a try, and um, I think you'll really like it. And if you want to, uh, I'll put this link just for fun into this folder. So some people may be coming in here and they may be able to share this and type stuff in. You're, you're welcome to experiment with these uh, documents and, that I've created. So there it is. That's uh, what Google Docs is. And just a basic how it works. Hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day. And if you like this video, give me a like. And if you want to know more about uh, Google and, and the free tools that I uh, share on this channel, make sure you subscribe as well. Have a great day. Bye for now.